We want to tell you now about a mother who pretty much lost everything after her daughter died from a terminal illness. That woman became homeless and had to put two precious urns in storage. She faced losing them for good when she couldn't pay the monthly fee, but then she called us for help. And that's night 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards is getting results for her. Ruff would not even begin to sum up the last several years for Ava McBrayer. Her first daughter was stillborn. Her second daughter, Martina, died when she was nine of cancer. She left both her children in ashes and urns here at National Storage in Southfield after losing her home. But times got even harder for Ava. Mourning her daughter's death drove her to depression and she lost her job. Now everything in her storage unit will go up for auction in just a few days, including the urns. You know, and I would never disrespect it. Anybody, church or mother, father, in that manner. You know what I'm saying? So I'm begging for them to not let them uh, toss my babies around as if they were less than human or less, you know, they don't deserve respect. We went to get answers for Ava, so we went to National Storage. Hey, is there a manager here? Yeah. Okay, well, we just wanted to talk to you about um, this lady right here. A man there had no comment, but we weren't satisfied. My name is Tara Edwards. I'm calling from Channel 7. Determined to get answers, I spoke to the general manager. He tells me Ava had been delinquent for several months and a lien was placed on the property in her unit. According to the general manager, he says that he tried to give Ava extra time so there would be no auction, but Ava says that she owed $700. The general manager tells me that he says that if there was an auction, he tried to convince her that he would try to get the urns back for her. All I'm asking for him is them to give them back. You know, you can keep the furniture. I'm not I asked in front of French. I just want my babies back. Late this afternoon, I spoke to the general manager again. They have her urns and an album of her children that are available for her to come get, and they've pushed back the auction to December. Yes, you guys are number one <laughs> in my book. <laughs> In Southfield, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. I mean, wasn't that the right thing to do? From day one, it was the right thing to do, just at least give the urns. I understand the whole concept of the economics of the deal like that, but come on, they're urns. So, so many children. people have fallen on hard times, too, so yeah. thank goodness they did the right thing.